Am I streaming? I believe, I believe I am. Hey guys, um, haven't been on much much lately. I apologize. I haven't recorded a lot of videos uh, lately, or we haven't had any live prayer meetings. Um, ever since Katie had her surgery, it's, it's just been uh, kind of uh, crazy around here. But um, this morning, I I had this sense that. I don't know why, that there were just some people out there, uh, that there was someone out there that was feeling just alone, abandoned by God today. Um, whatever you've been going through, you're praying, and it just feels like God isn't listening. Like, you just feel like you're in a deep fog and alone, and you're, you're losing hope. You feel like um, God has abandoned you. And um, so I just wanted to come on and I want to encourage you and tell you that God hasn't abandoned you because you're, whenever, if you're watching this now live or you see this later, you, um, this is a sign from God that he's, he hears you. He knows your pain and he is with you. I mean, think about it. God was able to tell someone else about your need. And that's why you're watching this now. And so I wanted to come on here this morning and I wanted to encourage you, uh, tell you that God is listening, that he knows what's going on in your life and that you just need to trust him. Um, and I wanted to share with you a uh, scripture from uh, Isaiah Isaiah uh, chapter 49, uh, verse 15 and 16. This is a beautiful thought. Can a mother forget the baby of her breast and have no compassion on the child that she has born? Though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me. It's hard to imagine that a mother could forget her own child. And I know that it happens. But God is saying, even if that could happen, I will not forget you. And so I just wanted to come on and I wanted to share that with you. I wanted to encourage you. God is able to tell others about your need because he's listening and he knows what's going on. And so... Um, I just want to say a quick prayer for you. Um, I hope that you'll pray with me and that it just makes everything better today for you uh, as you trust God to um, care for you and meet your needs. Father, thank you for all of your love and riches and, and the truth that you've given us in the scriptures to remind us that you are always there for us, that you will never forget us, even when it seems like it, even when it seems like you're not listening and we can't hear you and we feel alone and broken and afraid and abandoned. We can look to the scriptures and your promises in here and be reminded that, you, that even if a mother could forget her child, you will not forget us. And so, Lord, I want to pray for my brother or sister who's watching this that is feeling that way, that you would show them today, show them that you're there, that you know what's going on. Give them a sign of your love for them. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. In the name and for the glory of Jesus Christ. Amen. Listen, if you prayed that with me, then I want, I want you to believe God. I want you to trust God. I want you to take this broadcast right now as a sign that God knows what's going on in your life. That He's there. And even though it seems like He doesn't hear you, it seems like that your prayers aren't being answered. 
God wants you to hold out. Keep trusting him and not lose heart. And the grace of Jesus be with you. I see that we got some folks on here this morning. Hey, Michelle, Sarah, Tara, Tierra, Michelle. Thanks for joining me this morning. Um, Sarah, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear about that, uh, your situation. Um, we'll certainly be uh, praying for you. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me okay and the stream's all right. I, I hadn't done a broadcast in a while and the settings were all messed up on here, so I had to reset it and hopefully uh, we've got a the uh, live stream... Uh, is okay. So listen, I've got to uh, sign off here, but I do um, hope to be back on here more often for you guys uh, and to start doing more videos and more live prayer meetings because um, I know that I certainly miss that. And I'm, I'm sure that some of you guys too. It was just such a blessing to me. Um, Michelle, the baby is doing good. Thank you. Fricky, uh, We'll certainly pray for you and your business. Good, good. So guys, um, I don't know when I'll have the next live stream prayer meeting. You know, we've always done them on Thursday nights at about 930. Um, I might be able to tonight. It's just, uh, I can't promise that right now. It's just, since Katie had her surgery, um, it's been a long, hard recovery, and she's needed a lot of help. And, you know, I've got five kids, and uh, I've just been overwhelmed with everything. So um, I will try to have one tonight because I really miss it, and I need it as much as uh, a lot of you do. So um, I'll let you know if you're on the email list, you know, if you've signed up at 618society.com or if you're in the Facebook group, the Ephesians 618 Facebook group, I'll certainly post there if I do. Um, may God bless you and I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks.